believe that it's only seven weeks to the coronation. I know, when you think about it, these things do come around really quickly, don't they? I said before, didn't I, about the Platinum Jubilee celebrations last year. And around about this time last year, it seemed an age away, didn't it? You know, to get ready for all the celebrations, the bunting, all the rigmarole that goes with it. And we love it, you know, absolutely love it. It gives a sense of pride over here in our wonderful country, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, England, whatever you want to call it. But seven weeks in, a lot of people are now very very concerned about the coronation of King Charles III. As ever though, I thought I'd quickly explain. Good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you today, whatever you're doing. Yes, coronation, big business, you know, absolutely. I don't know if you know this, but way back in 1953, at the coronation of our beautiful late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, things were obviously a lot different, particularly with royal protocol, what you were allowed to wear. If you were invited, one of the very low-key people, invited into Westminster Abbey for that historical event. You see, the bottom line is a lot of people are saying, why is it now much a slimmer affair. There's two reasons behind that, let me tell you. Back in the day, there wasn't a thing called health and safety. People were willing to pack into the rafters. It must have been a security nightmare. But not only that, a bit of a fire nightmare. You know, when you consider all of that fur, ermine, all of that sort of stuff, anything that could have gone wrong with all those hot television lights within Westminster Abbey could have proved fatal. This time around, of course, they've decided to have the guest list around about 2,000 plus. But now there's a bigger problem because when you're invited to an event like that, normally you're asked to dress the part. And as I say, you see, the coronation robes way back in 1953, just to give you an estimation of what that would have cost in today's money, would have been about 1,250. So I've been assured by a very good source out at the palace that people will be given a sort of more relaxed opportunity of what they can wear, you know, formal suits, that sort of stuff, because they know in a cost of living crisis that they can't necessarily all afford such expensive outfits. Incredible to think, isn't it, when you think about it, how it was and how it's going to be now. I hope it doesn't detract away from a special event, though, because I think that's the whole point, isn't it? I like seeing all of those beautiful costumes that have been historical for so many years. I think that's what brings the Abbey alive in many respects, you know, not just say the Lone Piper, the Yeoman, all of that sort of stuff. It all adds uh, to this wonderful spectacle that we have over here. By the way, I also wanted to share this with you as well. I find this fascinating. 12 years ago, if you'd been lucky enough to be invited to the wedding of the Prince and Princess of Wales, Catherine and William, and you were lucky enough to have been given a piece of their wedding cake in a very special tin, it's currently for sale on a social site for just over £1,950. Uneaten, no bite, of course. Now, I don't know about you, but if somebody offered me a piece of cake, it'd have gone like a flash. You know? <laughs> don't care whether it's royal wedding cake or not. I mean, I know I find it strange because I have seen this before. Even pieces of wedding cake from Elizabeth and Philip's wedding way back in the 1940s were still circulating up until a few years ago and apparently allegedly edible in the way that it's been protected. But who on earth really wants to buy that? And is it of historical event? I'd love to know in the comments below, if you were given something like that, would you look to sell it or would you always just look to pass it down, let's say, as a family heirloom or something like that? Is that what you would do? It's a strange thing, isn't it? But again, whenever you go to a wedding, you all get offered a piece of cake. But truly, how many of us wrap it up in a napkin and think, I'll sell that further down the line? But then again, how many of us get invited to a prestigious royal wedding? Do let me know what you think in the comments below.